All right, so now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn accessibility by building a quiz, step 29. All right, so to provide the functionality of the true false questions, we need a set of inputs which do not allow both to be selected at the same time. So within each list element, we're gonna nest one label element, and within each label element, we're gonna nest one input element with the appropriate type. Okay, so uh, let's start this off. Within each list element, nest one label element. So right here, we'll do label, and then close the label, like that. And then within each label element, we're gonna nest one input element with the appropriate type. So we'll say uh, input, and then we just need the slash after it like that. All right, so with the appropriate type, uh, we're gonna have to go over here to the, what was it, the registration form because, uh, you know, it's been a while. So let's come over here and check it out. 63 right here, let's take out the styles, put the HTML up, and we're gonna be having to use this one, so the radio buttons. Uh, so let's see what we gotta do. So type radio, and that's pretty much it. All right, so let's just do type radio. We'll just take this from here, copy it, come over here, uh, right here after input, paste it, and then we'll copy from label, from the arrow to this arrow, copy it, and then just paste it inside each one of these line items, or list items, whatever they are. Uh, and now we've got radio buttons, but not only one at a time. Can, anyway, we'll figure it out. Let's check it, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 30, and we'll see you next time.